Hey guys, welcome. So we're diving into another episode of Kumi Can't Communicate, and today's episode is called "It's Just My Summer Uniform," and it's episode number five. So as we know, uh, everybody, everyone's kind of obsessed with Kumi, uh, just drooling over her, wanting wanting to be her friend, and it's uh, it's really funny just watching her kind of get over this this barrier of not being able to communicate with people, and the irony being that most of the friends she's talking to have some kind of uh, communication issue themselves or um straight out obsessed and crazy so diving into this one i do kind of vaguely remember the manga um it was a lot of issues ago i've read it last year i think at some point whenever it came out so now she's uh changing into her summer uniform so i'm, I'm positive it's gonna drive a lot of people crazy so without further ado we'll dive into Comey you can't communicate episode number five so as you know this is a time based reaction so grab your copy watch along obviously over on netflix and i also have a patreon where i have early and exclusive release content such as 86 and, and season two of One Punch Man to name but a few and you'll find a link to that down below with all my other socials so click a link come say hi all right let's dive into our episode number five three two one go Ta I, I like doing it okay it's just my summer uniform we're gonna see some hijinks when a person has extreme social anxiety they struggle to communicate with others. Bear in mind, they only struggle to form connections. It doesn't mean that they don't want to. It's so sad, really. It's just that she's so gorgeous, everyone's just like, I want to be your friend. Oh, the summit, the, the uniform. Twitch. Good morning. <laughs> Today I went, whoa. I honestly haven't really noticed much of a difference from her winter uniform. Are we? Am, am I going to see it here in the in the in the title? Has she got? Is it short sleeves? I mean, the the, the skirt's still short. I, what's the difference? She's not wearing a jacket. I mean, she looked the same. <laughs> I'd love to go to Japan, but you do, you do see a lot of anime where, um, and one spring to, springs to mind in particular is, um, Stein's Gate, where a lot of the scenes outside in the summer sun, in the summer sun, it's just the, the backdrop of cicadas, which here in Australia, just, they're, they're a summertime insect, right? Are they, are they really, they're an insect. So for me, growing up as a kid, whenever there were cicadas, it just signified uh, like an extremely hot day. So I just feel like a lot of the anime I'm watching that has Japan cicadas just must be hot. Really hot. I don't really know where I was going with that. I'll just... <laughs> I'm just filling in with words while we're watching the opening. I don't always have to make sense. Shut up. Mission 13. It's just a fitness test. Right, that's right. Last episode, I think. The fitness test is on. Oh, it's like a fighting game. So Kermi's been blessed with uh, great genetics. Long legs, tall. Some skills. Gorgeous. Good hair. She transformed into an old man.
Fate is something you can't change. It suddenly feels like an episode of My Hero Academia, which is also on my Patreon. Wow. <laughs> there you go, she's just perfect in every way. Didn't even break a sweat. Graceful. Like a gazelle. Breaking records. My true path. Is she actually being cool about it? <laughs> it's so interesting to see what people read into a situation where Comey doesn't speak to them or say anything they just kind of like come to their own conclusions is is interesting going to go to Comey's house She's mortified, but wants to say yes. Look how scared she is. Yep. Come over. <laughs> She's so scared. So we're going to see her, her parents and her brother. Get it, you are the mom. She looks just like Comey, but with short hair. Shoko's friends. Forever seventeen. <laughs> Got me so embarrassed. Shosuke. Shoko Komi. Awkward silence. So, uh... Saved by mom. <laughs> oh god. Five minutes pass. Ten minutes. You're gone for so long. <laughs> oh, no, Jimmy. Don't 
Don't be... Now, Jamie is a wild card. <laughs> Conversation techniques. Oh, leave her alone. Memories. <laughs> oh, look. She's doing a lot of frantic waving. Oh, English lessons. Bye-bye. Poor Komi, she's trying so hard. Baby steps, you know, baby steps. She had some friends over successfully, or almost like awkward and, and embarrassing in a lot of ways, but um, she did it. Conversation techniques. See, she's trying. She's she wants to learn. She wants to better herself. She wants to be able to talk to people. <laughs> Thank you. She wants to put the photo in a frame. She's making friends. Ramen. <laughs> and not inviting me you need your dog oh gary son darrow style yum Oh, yum. Men go alone? Yeah, it's back to normal. I want to go to Japan, man. What? First commandment? Thou shalt not talk. This is like the soup Nazi episode from Seinfeld. The tough guy, Raman boss. Raman, I said. <laughs> I want ramen. I, I, I really don't know how it works. She doesn't say anything, but people just know what she wants. Yum. Oh, good God, that looks amazing. Do I got to start watching some food anime? This is perfect for her because it's no talking. Sit down, eat, leave. Her element. Good ramen. Everyone, everyone just stares at her. No wonder she gets. No wonder she gets social anxiety. 
disappeared quickly after eating. Oh, they're still full. S they took too long. Too busy watching Kermie and their food got soggy. <laughs> what? No, they're full. Oh, nice. It becomes a regular thing. It's just a blood pact. I love the little vignette style of the manga and then they're capturing it really well for the anime. Oh, okay. And I recognize the character once again. The name is just gone. Beatles? Hello? Big gamer nerd, I think, from memory. Hey, I'm a gamer nerd. It's all good. The rich fantasy life. Something here feels familiar. <laughs> Shit. Gotta stay close, I guess. <laughs> A resonance. What is the Dragon Force? There's a lot of wacky kids in this school. Mm-hmm. That's mean. Tadana used to be a super nerd. Still is, but that's okay. Aussie's super cool. Mm, kind of a big deal. Uh, it's on. Operation L? Okay, so he was trying a little bit too hard. I don't remember this at all. From the manga. <laughs> Bra? Don't say bra. Don't, don't. You're kind of cringy. Oh. Yeah, never again. Just normal. Be you, kid. I won't make waves. <laughs> oh, he really didn't want Komi to know this. <laughs> oh, the <no>, Jimmy. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
How intimidating. Oh, she doesn't have a partner. Oh. <laughs> she gonna cry. I'm lonely. Oh. Oh, see? Kermy picks you. Aww. That's nice. Oh my god. Oh, uh, I had to do this in um my martial arts training. I just had a flashback. Hapkido. Just remember all the yeah the, the back stretch. Oh my god. Ugh. Back when I was fit. Arigato. <laughs> You're now my vassal. <laughs> she, she crazy. Love it. Oh, look. Comey accepts you. She made a oh did she make a blood pack? Like did they have to um cut thumbs? That's gross. Class president. They gotta walk home together in the rain. <laughs> then Jimmy took his umbrella. They're gonna have to share. Oh. Look. Look. He's freaking out. <laughs> We're so close. Oh. That was so nice. Just with no no dialogue, just little glances. She just can't help looking at him. It was a three pack. <laughs> she waited for him because she knew he didn't have an umbrella. Oh. Comey. Such an angel. Damn you, son. <laughs> oh, so nice. Um, obviously, I'm more fit, more ahead in, in the manga. So, 
I don't know how many of you are watching Komi Can't Communicate for the first time, or if you're anime only or, or not, but just um, seeing the early stages of Komi and Tadona's relationship just kind of like start to start to blossom and that, that seed of uh, connection and their relationship just growing from here is just really interesting to watch. Like that little scene there at the end, just just the music playing, no dialogue, just them walking in the rain together, just side by side, very close, and just the little glances to each other, the accidental grazing, the, the standing aside real quick, getting out in the rain. The, I love when Tadano was out in the rain and Komi just pushed the umbrella over him, like, and put herself in the rain, in the rain like, she didn't want him to be wet, but I just love the way that she just kind of stopped looking at him, she's, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but you can kind of, um, see she's developing feelings for this kid and it's really really nice to see like for all the comedy and all the hijinks and all the craziness i still got this really nice heart to it which i really appreciate i mean that's why i like the book so much it's just this underlying core of of relationships and um adversity it's just it's just so nice and so well done i'm so happy the anime is this good very happy and the score is good it's, it's really really good the music's the music suits it's, it's wonderful so anyway guys i'm gonna call it for now i'm gonna dive into some demon slayer so i'll catch you guys next time Thanks for watching.